The Oklahoma State University women's basketball coach and his assistant were killed when the single-engine plane they were in crashed. Head coach Kurt Budke and assistant Miranda Cerna were on a recruiting trip when the plane went down in the steep terrain near Perryville, Arkansas. The pilot, 82-year-old former Oklahoma State Senator Olin Brandstetter, and his wife were also killed in the crash. Uh, it's our worst nightmare. Uh, the... Um the entire OSU family is very close, very close indeed. And uh, to lose anyone, uh, and especially these two individuals who were incredible life forces uh, in our family, uh, is, uh, is, it's worse beyond words. The crash is the second major tragedy at Oklahoma State in about a decade. In January of 2001, 10 men affiliated with the men's basketball team died in a plane crash following a game in Colorado. When something like this happens, and God forbid it happened again, uh, we have to pull together as a family. We've got to try to do that. After the 2001 crash, the university required planes used by the school's sports teams to undergo safety checks before travel. Hargis said coaches were not bound by the same rules, and the school left such decisions to their discretion. The 50-year-old Budkey was hired seven years ago and had compiled a 112-83 and 83 record at the school. The Cowgirls opened this season with a win against Rice on Sunday. Hargis says both coaches left an impact on the university. Our coaches, coaches everywhere, guide their students uh, in, in developing the life skills that they they need to be successful in life. Perseverance, hard work, practice, all, all the dedication that's required. And I know of no one that did that better than Kurt. Uh, Ann and I were also very fond of Miranda. She was from an area in New Mexico that we know very well. Um, first, her family to go to college. Uh, they were just both beautiful people. And uh, I, I'd, I'd love to be the man that Kirk Butkey is and the, and the person that Miranda was. Oklahoma State canceled its women's basketball home games that were to be played Saturday and Sunday. The cause of the crash is not yet known. Jim Bell, The Associated Press.